Hey YouTube, how's it going? So, I've been looking at these two-way momentary switches for a winch with an LED glow. I've seen a few videos, um, nothing really explains them that well. And I was able to figure mine out, get it wired up to where it stays lit with LEDs, not just when you press the button, so it matches the rest of my panel. Here's how the switch looks. On these switches, One side is a toggle, and the other side is its own toggle. This is a seven pin. This seventh pin is a ground. This side over here controls the LEDs. So what I did was I took a key on hot out of my wiring system. I ran that keyed hot to the top LED, made a jumper to the bottom LED. Now, what I have when I turn this on is a lit switch and it stays lit that's what I was after okay also on this switch I found that they actually put the button cap that display on upside down so in my wiring out of my super winch the black wire is reel the winch in that's the return on the winch Black is back in, green is out. Green go out, black back in. The red is a key on signal to the winch solenoids to operate. So your keyed on hotline goes to the middle of the switch and then the signal going out and the signal coming back in. Okay. If you want this switch to only light up when you press the button on either direction, you would move your hot to the center pin. Leave these two blank. The switch will stay black until you press either direction and then that LED will light up. The way I found out that my switch was upside down without going through the hassle of getting my son out here to watch the cable and tell me where it's going let me set the phone down for a second I took my own meter and it has a signal. I can hear it beep when I have a short. I put it on one paddle. Touched it to the middle and then I threw my switch. When the switch throws, I get the connection and I hear my sound. That's how I was able to figure out when I pressed winch in I had no signal on the top pin, but I did have continuity on the bottom two, so then I knew my switch cap was on upside down. I use spade connectors, so if I need to, I can pull them off and flip them around. And you can just put it together and try it that way. But the left side with just three connectors is for the LED control. The right side with four connectors, the top one, number seven, being a ground, is for your signal control. That's how the seven pin switch works. So again, I just took out of my panel, my wiring harness and my gator 825i. I used old piece of trailer wire. The brown is a ground. The yellow is the ignition hot. I run it to the top pin, skip the center pin and made a little jumper out of it to the bottom pin. Switch stays lit no matter what. Now, for those of you with a Gator 825i, this machine is pre-wired with a few wiring harnesses. Um, I go underneath the dash. This toolbox that lays in here underneath the hood lifts up at the back and pulls out. 
you have two, two systems in here. One has two key hots and one ground. The other one has one key hot, which all the key hots are yellow, and then ground wires. I wasn't sure about the white and the black. I do know the black is ground, and I tested this with everything on in my ohm meter to make sure that it maintained a ground no matter what circuit I turned on in the machine. Again, I took spade connectors. I used males, and they will plug in right here. And another one right there. You can use whatever wire if you want to use proper color or whatnot. That's up to you. I just had an old piece of trailer wire laying around where I wired up my boat trailer. I used the brown for the ground, put a spade connector on it, pressed it in to the black. My key on hot right here is just yellow. So that concludes the seven position three-way switch to maintain LED while the machine is on. Instead of just lighting up when you press the button, and that's no good because you can't see what's lit. So that way at night there's no questions asked. And sometimes, yes, I do have to winch myself out at night because this is our fun machine. We get up in the woods and have a blast with it. Y'all, it's my first video. Comment if you want. Cheers. See, I'm going to have to do a little trimming. That's not going to be an issue. I've got a lot.